Hello and welcome to this Exchange Top Tips video. My name is Jane Irwin and I'm the Protection Product Manager here at IRIS. In today's video we're going to take a look at how Product Features works within the Term and Critical Illness Service. Protection products are now not purely designed around price but increasingly on providing the best and most needed cover. And we've seen more and more products emerge that have additional features and provide a specific terminology. These enhancements, however, do bring additional complexity to the advice process, and we've been listening to advisors who have recognised the importance of these enhanced product offerings, but want additional clarity and support in keeping up to date with all the features available. Product feature information is available on all term and all business term products, and this could be via the single service or via multi-policy. The features displayed will differ between term and business term products, and they've been chosen based on feedback from advisors. Now, there are no updates to the quote input screens, and product feature information will be displayed as part of the quote results. So let's have a look at a level term quote I did earlier. There are 10 product feature options available, and these have been defined based on feedback from advisors in terms of what they think are the most important features to highlight. The 10 feature cubes are always displayed, and if you hover over a cube, it will give you some more information in terms of what that feature is. Now, the features highlighted in blue are the features that the provider have said are available as part of the quote. So there are two criteria. The first criteria is that they have to be part of the premium returned. So, for example, you could get children's critical illness cover, but that might be available later on in the journey at additional costs. So that will not be highlighted at this point. And the other criteria is based on the actual benefits. So if you think about uh, life and critical illness, it's essentially two benefits. So if you were to do a life-only quote, the life-only features would be made available to you. If you were to do a critical illness-only quote, the critical illness features would be made available to you. However, it's worth noting that some providers do add life cover on when you do a critical illness quote. So in that instance, you'd see both the life and critical illness features because they would be available to you. If we move to the right hand side of the screen, we'll see the features tab. And within here, the first thing we can see is the features definitions. So this is generic definitions that we've agreed with all providers. And this allows us to understand what those features mean without provider specific terminology. Beyond that, you'll see that we have some product information. So if I select one of the providers, and look at the product information. This is an area where that provider has highlighted some of the key points around their product. So it could be some of the key features that they're highlighting or something else that they would like to draw your attention to. Within the product information area, you'll also find hyperlinks. If you select a hyperlink, a new tab will open and you'll either be taken to a page on the provider's extranet or to a provider document. And this is a good way of finding out additional information about the product that's been selected. OK, so let's click back onto the exchange and have a look at the print options available to you. So if you select the print comparison option at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the comparison prints that have always been available on the service, but you'll now see two new feature prints. There's the one called feature prints, which we call our summary print, and feature prints with provider notes, which is what we call our full prints. And we'll have a look at those in more detail now. So let's have a look at the summary report first. So very much like the comparison print, you have the advisor information, the client information, the transaction ID, the date printed. So all the usual information you would have to identify when the report was generated. You have information about the quote requested. Uh, and then you have all the providers listed down the left hand side, including the quotes that they returned and the premium and the product information. You then have all the features listed across the top. And then in a grid view, you can see all of the items ticked where the provider has said that that feature would be available as part of the quote returned. If we scroll down through the list, you will also see the providers that were unable to respond to the quote. And then if we scroll down further, you will also see the feature definitions that we talked about earlier. OK, so let's have a quick look at the full report. So the full report contains exactly the same information. You've got the advisor, the client, the quote information. And again, you have all of the providers and their products listed. Uh, this time, though, what you also have on this report is the additional information we saw on the screen. So you can see all the additional information about the product that's available to you. And again, very much like you have on the screen, you have the ability to click on to the hyperlink information, which will then open the providers, either at Extranet or website where you can find out more. 
At the start of this video, I mentioned that features was available as part of multi-policy. So let's take a quick look at that now. If I select the term element, you'll see again the features are available uh, on the cubes against each quote. And I can click on the features tab on the right hand side, look at the definitions and also look at the product information and link off to the provider's uh, website to find out more. Again, I can select to choose from one of the two feature prints available to me. That would be the summary and the full print. And if I look at the package overview, for the two products that have been selected, I can see that the feature cubes and feature information is available. And again, I can select that on the right hand side. The other thing worth noting here is now if I select the print comparison from the package overview screen, there is a new feature print available to me. And this print is a summary print and it contains the two products that have been selected as part of the package overview. So you can see my two products are available there and then I can see my two products feature information highlighted below and listed out with all the provider specific links and information available as well. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you found it useful. If you need any further support on the subjects we've covered here, or indeed anything else, we're here to help you get the best out of the exchange. We run a number of free monthly webinars and details and dates can be found at iris.com forward slash sourcing hyphen webinars. You can speak to one of our experts by dropping us a line at sourcingadoption at iris.com, or you can give us a call on 03 450 530 490. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch all our latest videos. My name is Jane Irwin and thank you for watching.